Hey guys, it's ISD here. Uh, the pulse motor is still running fine, just lovely as it should, you know. It works really well. Um, I've dug out the materials to go ahead and I'm going to take photographs and show you the exact complete assembly, um, pictorial, uh, from the materials. This is what is completely required to build this coil as seen, as pictured, as operating, as explained, as put up for test. Uh, there's a battery holder. These are the battery holders I'm using. A AA battery holder which can be purchased at Radio Shack. Holds two batteries. Um, a Radio Shack spool. 26 gauge wire. Full spool. You can see in the center there how they wind. That's the starting point of the winding. So basically what you're going to do is you're going to take this wire here. You're going to strip off the green varnish they put on that wire and that becomes your negative feed. Okay, negative. On the inside. Remember that. Next, you see the energizer battery. Rechargeable. Same thing that's running this system. Next, you see a reed switch, which I don't really have so many reed switches anymore. I have got one apparently that works. This one here, uh, it had a welding incident. And, um,. There are many ways you can get a welding incident from a low voltage source. Um, clearly, I burnt it out. And this ain't the first one. I've burnt out handfuls of these. Okay? Until I learned, right? Anyhow, that's the reed switch. Next is some hookup wire from Radio Shack. I'm using hookup wire, 22 gauge solid. Very nice wire. Very, very nice dielectric on that wire. Beautiful stuff, I'll say. Hookup wire, 22 gauge solid. This then becomes soldered to here for the feed. The outwire coming out of that gets connected to the reed switch right here. I don't care what side, doesn't matter. And the other side goes to the positive rail of the battery and the negative rail to the wire you've soldered on here. I will take pictorials uh, of the build in process. Regards. So it's IST here. I've gone ahead and I've opened up the battery holder. Uh, I've found some scotch tape and we're going to carry on and build this. So I've gone along and I have taken my scotch tape and I taped the lid of the battery holder to the base upside down. Okay, you can see there that I've gone along and soldered that wire in place now to jump it down to one battery. Okay, I've gone ahead and I've put the battery in, hooked it up to a meter, you can see. I've gone ahead and I've adjusted the coil, re-taped it. So I've gone ahead and I've completed the build on this unit. As you can see, this is the entire circuit, like I have previously explained. There's the reed switch. Unfortunately, it is burnt out and it doesn't click. It doesn't click, it doesn't tick, it's completely burnt. It is welded inside. And that shows, obviously, with all the black burn on the tube itself. Nonetheless, there's the entire unit. Uh, it's still running on the one coil. There's the second one with the uh, burnt out reed switch. That's the entire system. Thanks a lot for watching and thanks for your interest.